Welcome back to the Force Lines YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United. And in today's video, we are going to round out the uh, National League season with the final two league games against Chester and Halifax. Double live come today. Uh, and hopefully by the end of it, we will have been promoted. Uh, we could end up in the playoffs if results don't go our way, if we don't win. Which is still really good, but I don't want playoffs. My track record in the playoffs are awful. The mission today is to stay ahead of Wild, stay ahead of Hartlepool, and get automatic promotion to League 2. If I'm wearing the same clothes, it's because I'm recording this immediately after Monday's video. Today's going out on Tuesday, and I'm going to finish this season today. Hopefully, no playoffs to deal with in the next episode. We'll have the final of the FA Trophy against Dagenham and Redbridge. So there's some big games coming up. And hopefully we can stay and get good results and walk away with a trophy or two. If you are enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as I'm going to turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, today's going to be massive. So, uh, yeah, do, don't want to miss any of this. So we're just going to jump straight into the first match. Chester FC away from home. They're already relegated, so they don't really have anything to fight for apart from pride. So, you know, hopefully we can... Uh, win that one. Halifax is a bit harder. They're still going for a playoff spot. They're still gunning for a top seven finish and they are two points off of Dagenham in seventh. So they've still got a lot to fight for in that final game against Halifax. It's going to be big. They beat us in the second leg of the uh, FA Trophy semi-final. We won 2 nil in the first leg and then lost 2-1. So uh, we did get through to the final beat in Halifax in the semis. But that last league game is going to be big. First up, we got Chester away. Uh, forms improved. We had a couple of bad results, but we've won our last three games, so that's good. Team-wise, uh, this is what we played last time around. Uh, change we're going to make is Hare's going to go onto the bench. Uh, we're going to go back to Prestige because uh, we have him back. He was suspended against uh, Fylde, so we've got Prestige back. We'll play him as Mitzala. Uh, of course, last episode, I revealed that a Reason was going to have a, a long suspension. It was a six-match ban. And he's got uh, a few matches left remaining. He's going to miss uh, if we end up the playoffs in the semi-final. Uh, otherwise, if we end up getting automatically promoted, he's going to miss the FA Trophy final. I'm going to bring on Rate for Willard. Uh, Willard's not been in great form recently, so we're going to bring Rate on. Uh, so I'm going to leave him just a bit deeper alongside Prestige and Jeb. I'm going to go to Horst in place of Loza as well. Both of those are in bad form, so it's just trying to find... Trying to, trying to end their goal drought. So I'm sort of alternating at the moment. We went with Loza last time. So I've gone with horse this time. He can play on the right as well. But we're going to try him up front. Hopefully he can end his goal drought. Here's our top scorer with I think 25 goals. Something like that. I'm not quite sure. But Chester FC. They're 23rd. That's their team. That's our team. I'm going to go passionate. And I'm going to say. I'm going to go for the we've been on a good run to impress me. Individual chat. There wasn't really much happens. Okay, the match is underway. Now, in between highlights, I've got the league table. I'm going to load up some scores as well because we need to keep an eye on how file are doing. Because you know, we could win the we could win the title with today's um with this game. We could we could win the title. It depends on how file do. And uh, we can see the free kick on the edge of the box here. So uh, what I'm going to do is there's the league table, so we can see that. I want to keep right. I'm going to put the match stats down the bottom, and here I'm going to have latest scores. So filed are at home against Solihull Holmores, who have also uh, recently been relegated. They're now down as well. I think goal alerts will show up on the top as well. I'm not sure. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Uh, so far in this game, uh, haven't had a highlight yet, and uh, they've got a lot of possession of, uh, of Chester. Let's try and control the game. Uh, do we have retained possession on? No, we don't. We'll do that. Fylde have actually dropped down to third place because um, Hartlepool are beating Torquay. So that's good. The Hartlepool, they could still finish top. They have they could still do it. Um, we've really not done much in this game. We've got hardly any of the ball. They've got 62% possession. And we do have a highlight here. 35th minute of the game. And uh, Stone has the ball now for Chester. Here's Turnbull and Bird. Now James. And Archer's carrying a knock. Here's Bird. And uh, Reading on the ball now, or Reading, I'm not quite sure which one that is. Archer with a header, Reading. Oh, that took a deflection, it's gone out for a corner. All right, push forward, guys. We've barely had a sniff at goal this half, and the possession is just really not, not, in, our, not, not in our favour at all. Going to close down a little bit more. 
Um, we've got high tempo on. Uh, let's get stuck in. Let's just do it. Um, half time is going to be any second. It's been a pretty dull half. I'm going to go assertive with the team talk. And I'm going to say that we can still win this game. Well, that's not a good team talk. They don't really care about that. All right. I'm going to say you've got an ability to make a difference. There's a couple of reactions, but not huge. Come on, guys. I'm not seeing a lot of chances created here. Uh, Fylde are still drawing nil-nil. Hartlepool, meanwhile, are um, have disappeared. They're, oh, no, there they are. They're still winning 1-0 against Torquay. Uh, Fylde have taken the lead. Lawson scored. So now we really do need to get a grip of this game. We've not been in it at all. Get creative, I'm going to say. Um, right, I'm going to go early crosses. We're going to try and pump the ball into the box. Try and get the ball up there. Because only two shots at goal. It's not very good. I mean, they've got loads of possession as well. They're not doing much with it. I mean, they haven't scored. But we're doing really poorly. Look at the nerves with us as well. I mean, I pointed them out against Fylde last game. But the nerves are just awful. So we're going to make a change. Willard's going to come on. And we're also... Oh, Jeb's been very quiet as well. It's been just a really disappointing game all round. And again, to Horst is doing terribly. 6.3 for to Horst. That second striker, the advanced forward of the poacher... Really not working out at the moment. Goal kick here, Lee Wogan. This could be our first chance. We've not seen a lot of football from us. But um, Bird with the ball now for Chester. Goes back to the goalkeeper. Now here's Morris. And Willard gets onto that. And now Joe Piggott. And this could be the chance we need. Johan to Horst. Can he break his drought? No, he can't. He's gone wide. That's the sort of stuff we've been seeing from that second striker. It's not good. I'm going to encourage them. I mean, he's looking motivated. That's good, but he's not scoring. Right, we're going to go attacking. We need to win this game. Far enough, two 0 up. So you know, the, we're level on points at the moment, and Maidstone, our goal difference is not as good. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Torres is going to move out to the right, and Lowe's is going to come on. So you know, same thing I did last time. So let's make that change. I'm going to demand more as well because I'm really not happy with how we're done in this game. We've got 15 minutes or so left. Tomasi with a header away. Chester coming forward again. Ready. This this team a second from bottom and they've just scored. Harry White. I, we shouldn't be losing this game. We should be far and away ahead. And we've now dropped down to third. So things are really not going well. Um, we should not be losing this game. Chester, are, they're relegated. So, you know, they've just got pride left to play for, which, you know, that's important. But come on, we're going for a promotion here, guys. Oh, they've gone for a long ball here. Great tackle there by Magnus. Doesn't get you any goals though, does it? Piggott to Jeb. And that's a good long ball. Loza, can he end his goal drought? Oh my God, he can't. Lynch has saved it. How are we not winning this game? Like, we, sh we should be. We're not. It's really disappointing. Right, to Horst. Come on, good cross. It's gone to Jeb. And Prestige on the end. On, he's about 25, 30 yards out. That's got to be a foul. That's got to be. How is that not a foul? Come on. I mean, we've got a corner. Have we got another change we can make? I'm not going to make it yet, actually. I mean, am I? I don't know. To horse, maybe? I'm not going to make another change just yet, though. We're just going to go route one and be expressive and just go for it now. That's all we can do. And we've got one more change we can make. I've got another striker I'd I could bring on. And that's about it, really. Everyone else is kind of defense-minded, so not very good for what we need. Right, we're going to do that now. Um, Prestige is going to come off. Uh, yeah, Sam York's going to come on as target man. I'm going to change Piggott to an attacking target man. Jeb into the middle. Uh, overload. I can't believe how this is going. Where's the table and that gone? What is going on? Oh, they've got a free kick here. Good save. Get rid of that. Oh, my God. Seriously, is this the top? Are we, are we going to lose to Chester, who are 23rd? Is that really how this is going to go? I can't believe this. Astor's with the rebound. We're 2-0 down now. I mean, we're just going to go attacking now because, you know, 3-0 and that could be bye-bye. I mean, if, if this goes down, it goes down to goal difference. Ours is much worse. So we're now gone down a third because we can't beat a team that's already relegated. That's pretty pathetic, if you ask me. I'm furious. I'm absolutely fuming after seeing that. Um... Well, Jeb ended up with a 7.1 in the end. I'm going to aggressive with that team talk because that was absolutely not good enough. 
11 matches without scoring for to Horst and 8 for Loza. Do we go one up top for the next game? Is that what we're, go what we're coming up with now? Are we going for just one up top because the other striker can't score for shit? And that's seen us drop down a third place. How did Fylde end up doing in the end? They won 4-0 against Solihull Moors. 4-0. So their goal difference is now 10 better than ours. Hartlepool, meanwhile, they're 1-2-1 one against Torquay. So we've gone from being favourites to go up out of those three to being outsiders. We now need Fylde to, and Hartlepool to slip up. I mean, we had a terrible start to the season. I mean, our first three away games, we conceded 15 goals because we, uh, we lost by we lost conceded five in the first three. And then in the middle, we did really well. We had a really good spell. Uh, but just this last few games, like we have really hobbled over the line. Like we've <laughs> we've picked a really bad time to dip in form. We're in a position now where we have to win. We have to beat Halifax now. Because a draw would only see us level with Fylde. And that's assuming they lose their last game. And considering their goal difference, that's not going to do it unless they lose. Like They're not going to lose by 10. So we have to win. We have to beat Halifax if, if we want promotion now. We are going to do a team meeting. Uh, I'm going to go passionate. And I'm going to say we aren't in the best position for the title going into the final day. But go out there and give it your all. Who knows what could happen. That's not gone well. Um, that's not gone well at all. Uh, the title wasn't expected of us, I know. But, you know, we, we, we were in a good position. We let it slip. Um, that wasn't the reaction I was hoping for. That's not gone well. That That is probably the worst thing that could have happened in that team meeting. But now I'm really worried about about what they're going to be like in that final game. Okay, seeing as both to Horse and Loza don't want to score goals, we are going to play with two target men today. I don't think I've ever done it, and I don't, I haven't seen it be done either. So we're going to play two target men, and we're going to play to Horse out wide in his natural position. It's a bit of a gamble. It's not something I've really done this season, but that's what we're going to do. Do we want to bring on... We're going to bring on Cox. We're going to start Cox in place of Tomazi. We're going to make Prestige the ball winner instead of a, a Mizala. I'm going to go for an aggressive team talk and I'm going to say, get out there and show the world you've got what it takes. And assertively, I have faith. That's better. That's a good team talk. Now it's up to them. So off we go. Final game of the league season. I'm just praying that we don't have to go through playoffs. Oh, well, Hartlepool have immediately... Fylde have actually gone behind. Fylde are losing to Wrexham. Hartlepool, who do they face on this final day? Uh, they're away to Tranmere. So Fylde have slipped up already. Uh, meanwhile, we've had a couple of shots against these guys, but nothing more really. A highlight here, Wargan with a goal kick. 17 minutes played. And uh, see, playing with two target men today. We'll see what happens. Here's Reese Prestedge. And uh, to Horst with it now. Is he going to be better out wide? We'll see. Prestedge. Here's Delano Sam York. And Joe Piggott's there. And it's gone in. That's a good early goal. Johnson, a bit poor in goal, but I will absolutely take it. I don't care how they go in. 18th minute of the game. We lead 1-0. Good start to the game. And we have gone top with that. Wow. So Hartlepool must... Uh, well, they're not winning, I think. They're drawing. So if things that stay as they are, then we're going promoters. I mean, it's going to be the hard way, the long way around. But we are winning 1-0. We just need the other guys to slip up. Corner here. And, oh, it's tapped onto the bar by Wargan there. That was that was close. Sam York's going to hopefully keep this in play. Yes, he is. The attack's still on. Tommy Rake gets the ball. Sam York gives it back. Jeb. Pigger has already got one goal today. Here's Jeb. This is much better. Why couldn't we do this against Chester? That's got to be a foul. Well, it's been cleared. I think referee might have played advantage there. I'm not sure. Dale's got through here. He's got past the defence, and that's a terrible effort. Uh, Hartlepool have now gone behind as well. Tranmere are winning. Things are going our way today. Both of our rivals are losing. They just need to stay that way. If we can get a second goal, then we'll have, we just need to do our job as well. We're only 1-0 up. That could change. If we can get a second goal, then I really fancy our chances and we'll have done all we can. Piggott to Rate and Prestedge. It's for one goal. Prestedge scores. We lead 2-0 in the 37th minute. We're doing our job. That's all that matters at the moment. We can just... Run Hopefully, rely on the other guys to to fail and win and not do their jobs. But we are doing 
all we can at the moment. Tommy Ray, Prestedge manages to squeeze through and finds a way into the goal. 2-0, and this is much better. This is much, much better. Why couldn't we do this against Chester? Half time, we lead 2-0. We've had more of the ball, although Halifax have had more shots. Uh, they've won one now. Uh, they've brought it back to one each. If I win that game, then we can't we can't win. So we need Fylde to fail to win. But that's 1-1 one, one now. Hartlepool are still losing to Tranmere, but that's only by one. So things are still very, very tight. All right, there's something wrong with the lead latest scores. But they're not actually showing every match. So I've gone to event updates. Hopefully that works out better. We're still top as it stands. And we are at 55 minutes. Come on, just clear the danger here. It's been in our path for way too long. Morgan with a shot. Oh, it's gone in. Adam Morgan on the hour. That's a really good finish, actually. I thought that was going wide, but I think I just had a little bit of bend on it. Let's see. It was the earring, and then Morgan. How oh, that, that was a bit of a curler, that was. Wow. So, 2-1. We need the other guys to not win, though. This, well, no, they've got another highlight here. Sabara is one of the best players. Get rid of that. Get rid. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so close. Hartlepool are 1-1. Cassidy. So, uh, they're, they're both one each now, I think. Piggott to rate. He's looking for the long ball to Sam York. Can he find Sam York? Can Sam York find the goal? Oh, yes, he can. That's a lovely play shot. 3-1. Ten goals this season for Samuel. I don't think he got that many, but he's quietly going about his business this season. He's played when other people have been injured. He's come off the bench and got some goals. He's had a good year as well. All four strikers have. It's just a shame that Lozer and Tohorst have really sort of slipped up at the end of the season. But it looks like Fylde and Hartlepool are still not winning. Fylde have... Oh, Fylde have had a red card. That's good for us. Hartlepool are winning. I've just seen it up there. Hartlepool are winning. Come on, Tranmere. Come on, if it stays like this, we aren't promoted. F Finney, what have you just done? Finney, get rid of this. What is going on? <laughs> what was that? What on earth was that? Alex Finney, like, what are you doing, man? Look at this. Finney went to head it towards goal. Wargan didn't come out. It was saved. And then Tomlinson, how did this, like, he hit against the post. And it went over the line, apparently. But I don't know. 3-2 now. Heart the pool are winning. I need Tranmere to do something now because at the moment we're not getting promoted. We're going to have to sit through playoffs. And I mean, we, well, we're in danger of dropping things. I haven't made any subs in this match. Oh, I need to make some changes, man. Right, Prestedge coming off. Hare's coming on. Tohorst is off. And Hines is on. We're going to put on Loza for Piggott. 83 minutes. Do not let them score. Otherwise, we won't. We're definitely not going to get promoted if we don't win this. Here's Sam York. I mean, a fourth would be nice. Piggott's through here. Come on, Joe Piggott. Make it four. No, it's gone over. That's going to be his last involvement. We need Tranmere. What's happened to my stuff? We've done everything we can. We, we've done what we can. We might win this game. We are at the moment. I mean, we might still concede another and it'll be 3-3. Lozer has a shot and absolutely skies it. We need Tranmere to... I th I've got a feeling their game is already finished, but we'll find out after this. The whistle's about to blow any second. There it is. Uh, we got the three points on the day. I'm going to say good work. It was a, it was, it was all right. Right, let's leave the match, um, and we'll see what happens because I've got a feeling Hartlepool won. Three one in the end. They scored in the 90th minute. Five was one one in the end. And we've come second on goal difference. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hartlepool. What time were their goals? 75 minute winner. And then 90 minute to make it 3-1. For a while we were we were top during that 90 minutes. Hartlepool have won. Hartlepool the promoters. The team that at the start of the episode of third finished first. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> we were so close. We were so close. I'm confused. I did not know this was a thing. There are actually... I don't know how I've not known this all season. I've not noticed that there are six teams in the playoff spots. Which means that um, there's a preliminary playoff. So, I just I just went on this and had a look. And there's a first round between Eastleigh and Aiton Orient. And Dagenham and Redbridge and Wrexham. Which means that we, we're into this... We've got the semi-finals finishing second as did Fylde for finishing third. So 
So it's going to be either Italy or late in Orient. But I didn't, I don't know how I didn't go all season not knowing there were six teams in the playoffs. I don't know how I didn't notice that. I was just like, semi finals, final. No. Uh, with seconds, which means that we're in the semi-finals, but easily Dagenham, and Wrexham and Orient have got to fight it out to get to the semis with us and fail. So we're going to have to see what happens with that first. Alright, so we, we now know that it's going to be late in Orient first in our playoff semi-final. And then if we can beat Orient, then it'll be either Fylde or Dagenham and Redbridge in the playoff final. So first obstacle in this playoffs is late in Orient, who at the start of the season they scored five against us and won 5-2. And at home, it was a 1-1 draw. Oh, that was that game. That was the 40, 52nd minute own goal in the first half. Oh, God. So we haven't beaten Orient this year. So it's going to be hard. I think it's just I think it's just one leg. Well, it's at home. That's the good thing. I guess... I'm guessing the higher placed team gets the home tie. That seems to be how it is. Right, it's late in Orient. I don't know the rules now. I've been thrown off by the whole there's six teams in the playoffs. So I don't know what the rules are. I will look it up for next episode uh, and we'll play late in Orient. Don't, it looks like it's just one leg because there's no second leg it seems. So um, oh, if it is just one leg in the semi-final then we will play the semi-final and if we get to the final we'll play that in the same video. So that's what we're going to do. Um, next episode, hopefully we will <laughs> be promoted this time via the playoffs but i'm not looking forward to this i've got a horrible track record in playoffs that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure you leave that like down below leave comments and if you want to see videos as and when it's not on youtube do hit that subscribe button and i will see you next episode for the playoffs uh this is going to be interesting so you do not want to miss it thank you for watching hopefully i will see you then goodbye